Okay. What if we speed run Doom, but every time we get a kill, we have to play the E1 M1 riff? That sounds easy, right? Yeah, I can do that. You don't have a lot of money to buy a good microphone? It doesn't matter, you just need an old phone. Fuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. No. Yep, good enough. So Doom Riff percent. This is the way to speedrun Doom. So, what are the rules of the speedrun? We got three rules. Rule number one, difficulty settings. It's ultra violence difficulty with fast monsters enabled. Getting all the kills and all the secrets. So it's UV max, pretty much. Rule number two, the source port. You can use whatever source ports you want. We are gonna be using GC Doom, but I think Speedrunner use Choco Doom or Vanilla Doom or whatever, but we are not gonna be using that because we don't know how to use MS-DOS screens and I am very afraid of those and I do not know how to configure fast monsters in any of those things. Rule number three, the Rift rule, the most important one. Every time a monster dies, you have to play the Rift. Every time you kill a monster, you have to play the Rift. If you kill two monsters, you have to play the Rift twice. If you kill three monsters, you have to play it three times. If you kill a monster, you have one second to start playing. If a monster kills another monster, you get an extra shot. You can shoot once and do a chain kill or a multi-kill, how a gamer would say it. It has to be within that second, of course. So we got 29 monsters in this level, so you had to play the riff 29 times to do a successful run. So, Doom Riff percent, speed run, fast. Let's go. You can watch the run right here without me talking, and you can also watch the first complete run right here. But right now, we are gonna be analyzing the best run so far. So right off the bat, we encounter four shotgunners that can kill us in two shots from the other side of the map. So we need to play smart and save some HP for later. What we're gonna do is run in this direction while shooting to wake up these two baldies and get some infighting going. While we shoot this guy hiding behind the pylon. Then we just kill the other two enemies remaining. Now let's see if it plays out. So we run and shoot, but don't get a fight, so we just proceed to kill this guy and play the rest. Now we have to pick the other two one by one. 
and give the shotgun drops close by each other. And then we just kill the four guy high. Done. Now we get the shotgun, get the armor, and run to the next room. So, strategy one, pretty much failed. Next room! Again, four shotgunners, but now there's two zombie friends, so they don't feel left out. We quickly open and close the door to wake up these guys. They get curious, start walking, and get close to each other. So we open the door again and get a double kill. Then kill the other zombie. Sneak in this guy to the left without waking up the guy on the right. Then we kill the guy on the right. Grab a shotgun here if you are running low on ammo. And then kill these other two guys. Now, can we follow the plan this time? Let's see. Open close, open the door. Double kill. While this blind zombie man tries to shoot us. Nothing to worry about here, just play it cool. Now kill him. Sneak to the left, kill, and play the ref. Sneak to the right, kill, and play the ref. And wake up this guy. Fail to grab the shotgun, misfire, kill, play the ref. Now kill the last one and play the ref. So story 2 is done. Next room. Now comes the zigzag rag attack room, where we go in, get scared, and get out, while the shotguns work havoc in the room killing everything inside. We go back in, kill the remaining undead, cross the bridge, double kill on the sims. Also, find a secret here where these two are gonna be fighting to death and the winner gets to die. So, we go in, get a double kill and play the roof. Nice. Go back, shoot and get a triple kill thanks to Baldi, who is killing the other monster. So, say thanks to him before killing him. Thank you. Now die. Cross the bridge, but miss the imps, so we're gonna have to kill them one by one. We open the secret and wait 0.0 seconds to kill the strongest poly. And the room is done now. So, story 3 is done. Final room! We got a whole bunch of enemies here. But we also get three explosive barrels, so we clearly need to use them. Open the door and get the imp and the ball guy close to the barrel, then shoot the barrel. Also destroying this barrel and obliterating the entire room, actually no, only these guys. So shoot this barrel and kill the remaining ones, and prepare for the final run. Sounds good, right? Well, we choked here, so strategy 4 is dead, let's wing it! Open door, go back and kill ball guy, play the rest. Go back and kill the imp, and line up the barrel. Get the double kill and prepare to cross the shadow here to reveal the second secret. Cross the shadow, get the double kill, leave the room and play the rest. Turn around to the next shadow here and go to the secret room to get all the secrets. Also miss fire and kill the last shotgun. Now run to the exit, where the last imp is, proceed to kill it, play the ref, natural run, and... Done! Jam time! Now we celebrate a well-deserved victory by perfectly performing the intermission song as an offering to the speedrunning powers that be. Yeah! Look at him go! Mm, 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 mm. Yes, Lash himself here. Not missing a single note. Look at that intensity. That performance. You, you just can't be this good. We successfully failed at following our plans with acceptable results. So it's another wrong win. A better time could be achieved easily with more practice and better monster management. But we have been playing Doom E1M1 for a whole week and only Doom E1M1 in the week. So I am tired of it. 
It does take only 1 minute and 30 seconds to play the riff 29 times in the right tempo. And the current world record for E1M1 is 26 seconds by depravity. So you can get under 2 minutes, but it's nearly impossible because of the riff roll interrupting the flow of the most optimal route. And also the fact that you have to let go of the controls for at least 0.2 seconds every time you need to play the riff. So it is highly unlikely to achieve a 2 minute riff percent run. And if someone were to be able to achieve that time, I would personally go and cry. So, after a week of playing Doom Riff Percent, what have we learned? We have learned two things. Doom is fun and guitar is hard. And also, guitar is fun and Doom is hard. So, are we gonna try to get a better time? No, we are not. What comes next? Next comes... We are gonna be speedrunning Doom while running in real life. Let's fucking go!